For my last video, I told you about an upcoming Europe trip. Paris was a maybe itinerary for our Europe trip, but after stressful encounters with missing luggage, canceled trains, ghost Uber drivers, we have decided to spend 12 hours in Paris for Paris Fashion Week. For Rick Owens, Paris Fashion Week, Spring Summer 2023. We don't have an invite though. Before we begin, please like this video and subscribe because you're gonna love this one, I promise. So we just um, arrived in Paris. We're in the heart of Paris at the moment. We picked this restaurant because it's nearby Palais de Tokyo. We just want to people watch. So that would be interesting. Um, it's raining so hard, so we just need some um, shelter to go before we, um, before we journey around Paris. As I walk along the unforgiving cobblestones of Paris, I have only one wish. That is not to step on dog poo. Don't step on dog shit, don't step on dog shit. Please, please, please. This is my outfit for today. I feel so dirty and <laughs> drenched and wet. I just have to wear it, I don't care. <laughs> it is what it is. We're in Paris, so... There are no rules. Where are we going? Palais Tokyo. After lunch, we just decided to hang around Palais Tokyo to start people watching. I was wanting to visit a few shops, but there's plenty of opportunity for that next time. Ciao! Look at my mess today, guys. This is how you do couture in fashion week. Just keeping it real. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my goodness, I'm so messy. It was 4 p.m. and me and Lorend, my partner, were just casually taking fit pics in this area beside Palai de Tokyo. And in a strange turn of events, I saw a familiar online face wearing a very familiar outfit. But just a disclaimer, y'all, you have to understand, I don't really do socializing. I'm not a really social person. In fact, I'm a very awkward person. So it's really cringy. So what was your name again? Uh, my name or artist's your... name? Mm -hmm. Artist's name is ephemerism. Ephemeris. Ephemerism. Yes, yeah. yes. I saw this at um, Geo Casket. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I love the details. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you. We just want to capture fine. the moment. Yeah. I'm just in break. <laughs> oh, you're in break? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You've done your makeup or not yet? Yeah. yeah. I mean, only for the show. Okay. Yeah. 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 Women. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. And the showroom is only three days, I think. So. Oh, um, yeah, yes. Is it going to be indoors? No? Inside. I think so. Yeah. So, what was like the inspiration? Oh, uh, drinking. Drugs. <laughs> Depressions. Oh <laughs> is it gonna be on sale soon, or it's, uh, already... it's on sale already, uh, actually? Oh on uh, Dark Shadow, uh, on the website. Website, yeah. 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 Nice. Can you do like a tour, um, a turn around for the outfit? Wow. The back is cool as well. Yeah. And the shoes. Shoes are shadow. 
So are you watching the show later? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna be there. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much. Just like a priestess, the iconic Michelle Lamy, the muse of the house, appeared behind a thick fog. If you see her for the first time, you will get a permanent goosebumps. I did. And in case you're wondering, the lady in red with Michelle Lamy is the power photographer Daniel Levitt. Follow her on Instagram. She's done a lot of um, amazing imagery on the websites, on magazines, and Instagram. So during rehearsals, I was able to see the shoes that will be shown later on. Judging from the shoes, there is definitely a continuation of Rick's narrative from six seasons ago. A glorious marriage of Phlegathon, Fogashin, and Performa awaits. Although I can sense that there is a higher power in terms of heel height, reimagined visuals and design. The vibe is animalistic robotica, intergalactic space warriors, red carpet in Saturn. The Owen system continues. There were so, so many fashion people, but I approached the lady on the right because I also have the same jacket she was wearing. When I got home, I followed her Instagram, and it turns out she is a really, really big jewelry designer. And not only that, she is also a co-founder of Hanrod Jewelry with Michelle Lamy, nonetheless. And among her clients are huge, huge celebrities like Machine Gun Kelly, Miley Cyrus, Riri, and Madonna. From Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We love I like your outfit. What's your name? Lori Rodkin. Yes, okay. I do the Hun Run line. Oh. Michelle. Oh my goodness. Nice to meet you. What is your name? Nevi. Nevi. Okay. Nice to meet you. My name is Carl, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. just standing randomly and and I saw someone across me and it was the legendary Tommy Ton and he, and he took a photo of us I just had to say hi fashion muse or a fashion model or an icon that I've been following on Instagram I had to take a photo with Akimoto Kuzue, Akimoto-san because she has been one of my inspirations, one of my my fashion icons. She wears a lot of Rick Owens and she's always attending Paris Fashion Week. I made balaclava, it's yes. a prototype. Uh, I call it a Maelstrom balaclava. So uh -huh. there is some pocket, you know, there is pocket. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. 
I got a cap from mm -hmm. my friend's brand, my jumpsuit. I made a jumpsuit inspired by Rick Owens. Rick Owens, yes, I love it. Uh, that's a hoodie from uh -huh. my friends. Wow, and it's like a corduroy. Yeah, and that's a bag I oh. made. <gasps> so it is, uh, Amazing. And nice. it's good because it's waterproof. Yeah. yeah, it's a Montclair, Montclair uh, fabric. It's a Montclair fabric? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a student, fashion student. Wow. And it's like a prototype. Love working on the new collection for winter. Yeah, congratulations. Have you met before? This is oh. tiny, tiny secret. The sky high water fountain mirrors the rising of power shoulders this season. The higher the shoulder is, the closer to God, I guess. According to Rick's show notes, pearl oyster and ivory gowns and jackets also provide butterfly wing litheness. The colors are either milky non-colors or stridently bright like yellow, pink, or fuchsia. Loud colors that can actually equal the power of black. For shapes, shoulders are either wide and rounded or sharp and narrow in teeth and flight jackets, extending and narrowing and elongating the arms into parentheses framing the body. By exaggerating or distorting the body in such a pronounced way, the message is a vote for otherness, a departure from tasteful and perhaps narrow aesthetic conventions and maybe an encouragement to consider open-mindedness in other areas outside of personal appearance. Full grain cowhide are tanned using only organic materials and natural glycerin that fill the pores of the leather which gives it softness and transparency. Como woven silk and chiffons are cut into gowns that twist around the hips and trail on the floor in slashes of slithering collar. And one cannot expect anything less from Tommy Cash, for he turned up with a Rick Owens Spring Summer 2016 Cyclops inspired outfit. <laughs> If it wasn't for Loren, I wouldn't be able to muster the courage to approach people that day. But it was Diane Pernay, that's my only chance, so I had to have a photo with her.
Just like that, the day is done. Our time in Paris is finally over. We have so many beautiful memories. So please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you soon. Bye.